Hi, this is Chelsea from Digital Art Teacher, and today we are working on creating a digital collage. As with any project you set out to create, you need to do some brainstorming and gathering of materials. For a collage, we'll need to think of finding several pieces that are related to each other that contribute to some kind of theme. For this collage, I'm going to create a self-portrait of sorts. So everything I include in my collage will need to be related to my interests, beliefs, or hobbies. But the good news is that you don't have to get out the scissors and the glue and the tape and all the sticky stuff that goes with doing traditional collages. If you're also doing a self-portrait collage, start out by writing a list of things down that describe you or that interest you. Try coming up with at least 20 things. Think of things you like to do, words that describe your character, or even places you would like to go. With your list beside you, it's time to start finding or taking images to use in your collage. You'll want to find at least 20 images, but more would be better. These images include everything you'll need for your project. You will also need to have an image of yourself. This could be a simple selfie, or if you have a portrait image available, you can use that. It's good to have a folder to put all of your images into. That way, you can refer back to it later. Hopefully, you can find many of these images within your own body of work. But you can also make a list of images that you would like to take for your collage. And for everything else, you can try going to a free image or illustration library like Unsplash, morguefile.com, and freepick.com. Of course, this is just a few image libraries that are out there. There are several. And if you don't plan to post or publish your collage, you can always use Google Photos, but it's always a good idea to use your own images or free images when you can. Some ideas of other images you might want to include could be images of places that you have been or would like to go, drawings that you've created, photos that you've taken, or objects that are important to you. You could always include logos or symbols that are important to you or textures for the background, which we'll talk more about later. One of the great things about creating a collage is that if your images aren't 100% good quality, it can actually work in your favor. Many collage artists use the raw or unfinished look as an artistic tool when creating. So before you move on to the next video, get some images together in a folder on your computer. As you work on your collage, you may find that you want to look for an extra image or two, and having a folder devoted to holding the project images will keep you organized. Remember to get at least 20 images, and once that's done, I'll see you in the next video.